Hello and welcome to Let Clicks video tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn uh, about how to create a new photo link and use it to post over Facebook or for some other purposes. So here am I uh, in the Let Clicks dashboard. In this Let Clicks dashboard, to be able to create a new photo link, I need to go and click on this big red bold button says which says new link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this link over here. So as soon as I click on that link, uh, it loads the new link option for me. The first thing that I see over here is to enter the text for the headline. So it is essentially nothing but something that uh, I choose to enter myself for my own references. This is something that I want to see on my own. So since I'm doing a demo over here, so I'm going to say demo link. Then what it asks me to do is upload an image. Now this image could be a GIF or it could be a plain image as well. Uh, and here you see the recommended uh, image specs. If it's a GIF, we recommend you to upload an 800 cross 800 pixels uh, GIF. And if it's an image, uh, for a square image, we recommend you to upload 800 cross 800. And for a rectangle one, we recommend you to upload a 1200 cross 628 pixels image. Alternatively, you could also use our photo links tools to be able to create square images or rectangle images. This is the way you want to do. Uh, but I'm not going to get into this because we're going to cover that in the other video. For now, I have two options to upload the image. I can either browse my library or I can choose to upload an image. Let me just click on upload image. Okay. When I click on upload image, it opens up the uploader for me. On all I could do over here is just drag a picture. Uh, you know, drag drop it over here or just click up on it to, to be able to select a picture from my, from my desktop or I could just go ahead and fetch an image from a URL. Now, essentially what you can do from by fetching an image from URL over here is if I have the URL for any image that is present over cloud, I could just copy paste the URL over here. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I could just copy paste the URL over here and choose to fetch it to be able to pull it in my own dashboard and create a photo link on the same. Or what I can do is select from my uploads, which essentially would load up the library from me. Okay, so I have the all of the images that I've uploaded so far. I can just choose to use any of these and make a photo of this. Uh, but since I want to give you a quick insight into how to even fetch an image from a URL, I am just going to go to say images.google.com just for you know random purposes. And since, okay, Iron Man is my favorite character, so I'm going to select Iron Man. Uh, and perhaps I want uh, 800 cross 800 image. Okay, so I don't want to do this. I don't want to get this image. Now we do not recommend you to use just any image from Google, by the way, because you might have copyright issues. But since this is, we're just demoing this tool, uh, I am kind of tending to use an image uh, for demo purposes. So I did set up a filter, and for example, I. I would use this image. I would just click on view image and it would give me the URL. I'm just, I just want to show you how could you fetch an, uh, an image from a URL. Now this URL could be anything. It could be a WordPress website's image URL. It could be just anything. Okay. And now I'm going to click on fetch. It says file uploaded successfully and I'm just going to click on done. Now I see that the image has been uploaded successfully over here. Now the next that I have to choose is the destination URL. Now this URL is the URL wherein someone would be redirected to or someone would see when they click upon this photo link. Now they could click on this photo link while they're on Facebook or when you send them on Messenger or you send them over Skype. But essentially when they click over this image, this is the URL where they, they actually move ahead to. So let me redirect them to say google.com for now for demo purposes. Right. And then the next option that I have is the open URL as a JavaScript redirect as a 301 redirect or as an iframe. Now we're going to come up with another video on primarily what are the differences in these three types of redirects, but I'm going to give you a very quick brief into what these types of redirects are. So you want to use the JavaScript redirect when essentially you do not want to do a server side uh, redirection. Now, okay, this might look and this might sound a bit tough, uh, but essentially, if you want to post links over Facebook just like that, you you want to use a 301 redirect. Okay, if you want to post an affiliate URL over Facebook, something like this, you want to use an iframe redirect, or if you just want to post 
uh, you know, images anywhere else you want to use a JavaScript redirect. The basic difference between JavaScript redirect and 301 redirect is in terms of JavaScript redirect, you can add a pixel. In 301 redirect, you cannot add a pixel. Okay, and iframes you want to use when you use f rate two items. Uh, I'm going to use uh, as a JavaScript redirect only and let it be uh, like this over here. Now, the next option that I have is to choose a domain name. I could choose to keep the Letflix domain name by default, which is from this list over here. Okay, or I could just choose to use a white label domain name. Uh, when I use a white label domain name, I have the option to choose my own white label domain name. Uh, now, this could be a domain name that I have pointed to Letflix dashboard. Uh, and if you see, if I use any link over like this, the preview on desktop on Facebook, it, it, my link look, looks like this. My folder link looks like this. Okay, so this goes over here. Go dot dot com, right? So you really wanna choose what you really wanna choose, right? Okay, so let us say I I choose to use the Letflix domain only, and then if I use choose to use the Letflix domain, I can choose ahead and see which of the Letflix domain I wanna use. We give you a range of number of domain names that you can choose upon. Okay. Uh, Hang on, right? So, since we're we're looking at a uh, number of domain names, for example, view more ad, let us look at watch more ad, subscribe now ad, uh, right? Claim offer ad. Let's say I I'm posting this picture about um, selling uh, an Iron Man mask kind of a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at claim offer ad. Right? It looks good. So and and then the next that I have is the custom link option. So I can add a, a domain name, which is which is mostly a brand name. So for example, if you run a brand name called ABC, you should add ABC over here because essentially this is the thing that it looks like. Uh, okay, so for, for desktops, it looks like ironman.claimoffer.at. Uh, for iOS, it looks like ironman.claimoffer at. For Android, it looks like ironman.claimoffer at, right? Uh, and the slug, the slug is something that is like a unique identifier for Netflix to open a URL and it has to be unique across the entire system. So I'm going to say test demo link one, two, three, just one to keep it as long as possible for my own purposes. But you can make it as personal as you want to, right? And then I have the option to choose a link pool. I could just choose the pools that I want to choose or maybe add a new pool right in front over here. So I'm going to say demo link. I click on submit uh, and a link pool with the name demo link has been already made in the background and has been added to for this particular URL. Now uh, I have this option to add a pixel. Uh, essentially what it can help me do is if ever someone clicks on my photo link over here and I want to trigger a pixel, now this pixel could be a Facebook remarketing pixel or a Google Analytics pixel, right? And if you want to fire this pixel, you can add this pixel over here. Now you do not have to copy paste this pixel. What you really have to do is either click on this and you'll see all the pixels that you have saved so far or in case you do not have a pixel you click on add pixel you add the pixel name and this could be anything right and then you copy paste the pixel code over here and then you press submit okay and then as soon as you press submit you'll see the pixel over here and you can add as many pixels as you want to for now i'll just add the facebook remarketing pixel now please know that i am able to add the pixels because i chose the open url type as a javascript redirect but however if I choose to open this up as a 301 redirect, you'll see that the add pixel thing is gone for me because pixels will not be triggered when you choose a 301 based redirect. Okay, so I'm going to use the JavaScript edit for this one for now. And then the final thing that I have to do is just click on create link. As soon as click on create link, it opens up uh, a pop up for me and it says link create successfully. I see my photo link URL over here. Uh, I can click on this copy icon over here to, to copy this photo link right and i know that it's copied or i could just choose to post this right now over facebook or i could just schedule to uh, post it on facebook for later later time right uh, obviously if i want to schedule uh, this post over facebook i want to add a facebook app to my dashboard or sync it with other applications like buffer uh, or i could just post it right now over facebook for which i do not need to have an application right i'm gonna post it on facebook right now just for your demo purposes okay so as soon as I click on post now on Facebook, it opens up my Facebook profile. Uh, I could choose to share it on my timeline or a friend's timeline in a group, in an event, on a page I manage or share it in a private message. Okay, I'm going to post it on my own timeline. I'll just say demo post. 
I could choose to decide who sees this post and right I, I could choose to show this post to my friends to the public to all the friends except a few or I could just choose to sheet show it to only me uh, since it's a demo I'm gonna show it to only me and I'm gonna click on post to Facebook all right as soon as I click on post to Facebook, it will auto post over Facebook and now since the window closes, I know my post has already been posted over Facebook. I could just also click on close over here and move back to my all the links screen where I see a list of all the links that I have made so far. If ever I want to post uh, this link ever again, I could just go to this for the link you are over here from my links or links. Then just choose to post it right now or I can archive this link or schedule this link or if I want to give someone this URL in particular I could just click on this copy icon over here beside the photo link URL and I could just pass the link ahead to them. Uh, I hope you guys have been able to understand how to create a new link essentially it's a very easy process but just wanted to give you a quick heads up on how to create a new link and I hope to see you more and more inside and doing a lot with that clicks. Kudos.